What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from Geekster Labs and today I have a sponsored review for a product that was sent to me from Above Tech and this is their mobile tablet clamp holder. So the model number on this one is the DH74C. So this product usually retails for a little over 50 bucks but right now it's currently on sale for $30. And so basically this is like a gooseneck type of mount that you can attach to a desk like your desk at home or a table and it includes three different holders that you can use with uh, phones or tablets. So it has a four to six inch holder, seven to eight inch and a nine to 10 inch. And so I've personally been using this with my 10 inch um, iPad Pro. Uh, using it with sidecar uh, with my my MacBook, which creates it makes it a second dis display. And this product works perfectly with that because you can basically mount it up, have it right next to your uh, your laptop, and it makes it for a really great second display. So let's go ahead and talk about how this product has been while using it, and go over some of the specs and closer features of the clamp holder from Above Tech. Okay, so here are all the pieces that are included in the kit. So like I mentioned before, we do have three holders right here. So this is the nine to 10 inch one for like tablets, the middle range one for seven to eight inch devices, larger devices or smaller tablets. And then you have this, the phone uh, holder, which is four to six inches big. So these are all made of plastic. I'll give you guys close up looks at that in just a second. Here we have the gooseneck right now. So this is uh, made of aluminum and it is actually really, really stiff. Um, it actually takes quite a bit of muscle to like bend it into the position, the perfect position that you would want to bend it into. Um, it does tighten up the really good and then on the bottom here, let me loosen up. And so the ba this basically hold, it's held on with a basic clamp that you probably have seen on uh, similar devices before. So like this kind of vice type of clamp. Those both have pads on the top and the bottom so they won't mess up or mar your desk or, or mess it up or anything when you have it attached to there. And so you just basically tighten it up to make it a really nice solid grip right there. So that's not gonna go anywhere. So this is very stiff. This arm is a little over two feet long, okay? So the, because it is so long, it is, it, and even though it is stiff and difficult to kind of like move into a position, it will have a little bit of bounce to it. So depending on what you're uh, attaching to it, like if you're gonna put a, uh, a tablet onto here, you may want to make sure that it's gonna be in a position or in a, in a, yeah, in a specific type of position where maybe you'll be bump, pumping or pushing up against it and it won't flex around or bounce around too much. Uh, me personally, when I was using this, I had this on the side of my desk and I used my iPad Pro to, uh, like I said, work as a second display using Sidecar with my computer setup. You can kind of see what that looks like here. And so when you have it next to your computer, you don't have to interact with it or touch it because you're using it like a second monitor. So the mouse will go over to that iPad and you can you know, use it as a second display and mess around with that. But if you want to use it to like, say, interact with it or like a kiosk type of thing or something, it is going to move around and bounce around a little bit. Not crazy, crazy a lot, but it will have some moving, moving around. I think more often than not, you probably would be a good use for this would be like to attach a, an iPad to here, like watch videos or something. If you want to attach this to the side of your end table or like a, on the side of your bed or maybe on your desk, just watch videos. Maybe in a situation where you're not constantly interacting and touching and messing with it, that probably might be a little better for what this is better, better suited for. So uh, when it comes to the holders, let me give you a close up look at what this looks like. So in the holders, they are made, they are gloss white, they are made of plastic, so they're pretty lightweight. They do have a spring action here, so it does expand just a little bit. On the insides, we do have rubber, so that's not gonna scratch up. The back is just plastic, but this, the, the parts that actually touch the device, for the most part, are rubberized, so they're not gonna scratch or mess up the sides of the device as well. So on the back, we have like a collar lock, and this is where this ball joint from for the tip of the, the, uh, the holder, the clamp goes into here, so you basically loosen that up, and then you pop it onto there and then you tighten up this, this collar to, in order to uh, have it work to where you, when you adjust it, it'll hold its position. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So you, so you take the ballpoint right there, make sure it's pretty loose, and then you just basically pop it onto there. There you go. Pop it onto the joint. So because that ball joint on there is like that chrome, smooth, smooth finish, um, you have to attach this and tighten this up really, really tight to make sure it stays stiff. So like I said, if you're gonna be interacting or messing with it, it kind of gives pretty easily. It doesn't like hold it super, super securely um, on that little ball joint. So it makes it nice where you can really get a good you know, angle, whatever you want, but you have to like really crank on that and really tighten that collar really good so that way it won't move or have any much give to it. So as you, you can see right there, it's not really moving too much anymore. Of course, that might change a little bit once the tablet's on there because that's, that's heavier and it's a larger type of device. But Either way, it does a good job of securely holding it into place and keeping it shaped. This arm is definitely able to hold a lot of weight, even if you do have the 10 inch uh, iPad Pro like I have. Um, if you do have the 12 inch iPad Pro, that's not gonna work with this because this cannot get large enough to open up for that. So if that's the device you have, 
then this is not the product for you. So that's it for this review, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and please make sure to show some love to the like button down below and give me a thumbs up. If you wanna check out some of my other videos, I have two other clips over here you can click on. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure you click on my face, and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my new reviews as they drop on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video review.